DIY fan? Watch this video to find a lot of creative ideas for your coolest DIY projects. What about a full lip shaped stress reliever? Let's see how to make a fidget spinner of the lip shape and check if it works well. Let's get started. Make a template. Trace it on thick cardboard. We'll need two of the same details. Make the lips bright red. Trace the template on color paper. Make two details. We'll need four cardboard circles. Prick them in the center. Hot glue per two. Smooth the edges with a nail file or fine sandpaper. Place the circle pad on the lip center and pass it through. Hot glue two coins to the lip sides. The fidget spinner with an extra load will spin faster. Attach the second cardboard lip detail on top. Now you can add the color. Repeat on the other side. Smooth the edges. Prick the central hole. Let's add some gloss using an interesting art technique, embossing. Ink the lips. Just press the fidget spinner against the embossing ink pad. Sprinkle clear embossing powder. It's white when dry. Shake off the excess. Heat it with a heat gun and watch the magic begin. You can use a powerful hairdryer, keeping in mind it will take more time for the stuff to start melting. You can see it melt. It will go from fuzzy looking to smooth and glossy. The coating resists water, making the cardboard look like laminated thin plastic. To make the coat thicker, add another layer in the same order. It's an incredible art technique. Widen the hole with a big nail. Make the central bearing using the cardboard circle pads and a toothpick. Put them on both sides. Perfect! Fasten with stationary glue. Cut off the excess. Smooth with the file. Define the lip outline. Ink the edges. Sprinkle with golden powder. Shake off. Heat to melt. Shade the central pad edges with a black marker. Cover it with a black circle. Repeat for the other side. Add some gloss. Add golden glow. Test it. Cool! The lip-shaped fidget spinner will help you focus and stop fidgeting, and you'll be the only one to have it. Besides, we've tested a new art technique. It looks cute, but it's not compulsory. You can make your fidget spinner just from the cardstock and paper without using embossing for extra gloss. This project is about how to make favorite animated characters, needle felted Hello Kitty and My Melody Toys. For Kitty, we'll need beige, light blue, white, and black unspun wool, a sponge, and felt needles size 38 and 40. Tear off a tuft of beige wool. Roll in your hands to form a round shape. Let's make a head. Start felting with a thicker needle of size 38. Use a thinner one, number 40, for small details. The felting needle has barbs that catch the scales of the wool and lock into place to create dense material. You can add wool as far as needed to smooth the detail or make it firmer. Gradually punch a round, flat head shape. Be careful to make the bottom a bit wider than the top. Define the shape. Now, form a body. Needle felt a small egg-shaped detail. It should be around twice as small as the head. Join the two parts by needle felting. Roll a piece of wool to make Kitty's arms. 
Keep punching and turning from side to side until dense enough, shaped right, and of an appropriate size. Make another arm in the same way. Tack it to the top part of the body. Add wool to cover the junction. Punch carefully to smooth the detail. Repeat for the other arm. Needle felt to bend a little. Take more wool for legs. Punch till the needed size. Make a flat, round foot. Needle felt to make a bend. Repeat for the other leg. Let's make a sitting kitty. Tack the legs to the bottom sides. Tack a little wool to cover the junction. Make two of the same ears. Attach them to the top of the head. Smooth the junction. Make a small black eye. And the second one. Add whiskers on the cheeks. Tack three black strips to each side. Make a beige wool nose. Add a blue outfit. Tack light blue wool around the body. Add white buttons. Needle felt a blue bow on the sponge. Form a small square. Punch the middle. If the bow is too small, add some wool on the sides. Define the center. Tack the bow to the left ear. This Hello Kitty toy is so cute and recognizable. Now, let's make my melody, a little girl rabbit. Make a head first. Punch, adding wool if necessary. The head should be flat and round. Make the same egg-shaped body as for the first figure. Join the two parts. Add wool to smooth the attachment place. Make a hood by tacking red wool to the head. Leave the face uncovered. Punch the red wool thoroughly. Add a collar to the hood. Split it in the middle and wrap around the neck. Now make ears. Shape a red roll. Punch on the sponge. Fold one side to round the end. Needle felt to the right shape and size. Repeat for the second ear. Don't felt the bottom to attach the ears easily to the hood. Tack it to the top. The ear should stand upright. Tack the second ear alongside. Needle felt the bottom well. Make a small round shape for a flower. Form petals. Punch to the center at equal intervals and get this lovely petal. Make five details. Needle felt. Tack the flower to the left ear. Add a beige core. Make the same eyes and nose as Kitty has. We've got an amusing My Melody toy. Vicky is ready to sink into depression, but her friend appears with an interesting balloon in her hands. It's a big stress ball, and it will put you into a good mood. Pour silicate stationary glue into a big container and squeeze out a bit of shaving foam. Mix it. Add acrylic paint. 
and liquid washing product Persil Color Gel. Mix it thoroughly to get a slime consistency and add glitter. Cut a big plastic bottle and make a funnel. Pull a big balloon onto the neck of the bottle and put the slime in it. Tie the balloon. Vicky really likes the balloon. It feels like some kind of magical mass when you touch it. She has already come up with an idea on how to use it. You may use this stress ball for a workout, like ab exercises, and lift it instead of dumbbells. This is how a stress ball turns into a fitness ball, because working out reduces stress too. In our tutorial, we'll make a lovely wool toothless dragon toy from the famous film. Take a felting sponge, polyester filler, and a triangular blade needle, size 25. Spread out the polyester fibers. Form a stretched cone to make a dragon body. Punch the fibers with a felting needle on a sponge. Add polyester to form a body-shaped piece. When the detail is dense and firm enough, change the needle into a fine size 41. Wrap black wool around the base and pierce with the fine needle. The body is ready. Make other details from the black roving. Form four paws. To make the same sized paws, divide a wool tuft into two equal parts. Form a cylinder from the first one. Pierce with the fine needle. Make thicker the lower part of the paw by tacking a bit more roving. Make other paws in the same way. Now make a head. Shape a flattened wool ball. Pierce with the fine needle. Tack a forehead using a small wool tuft. The neck is a thick cylinder. Join it to the head. Tack around with the fine needle. Attach the body in the same way. You can add a small wool tuft to make a smooth bordering. Tack the paws. Make three pairs of horns, one bigger and two smaller. The basic elements are in place. Let's add some details. Make eight claws and two eyes by squeezing hot glue onto a cardboard piece. Let it dry. Bend thick wire shaping a wing frame. Cut out three small pieces of thin wire twice. Twist three wire pieces together from one end. Attach it onto the wing frame, forming a wing skeleton. Trim the wire ends. Make the same on the other wing. Wrap the frame wire with black yarns, adding hot glue. Now attach the frame to black fabric. Attach the thin wires to the fabric. Cut out the wings. Trim the wing edges. Make a tail wing frame by twisting three thin wires in the middle. Stick it to the fabric. Cut out the wings with scissors. Make the last pair of the wings frame to end at the tail. Attach the black fabric to one side and red ribbon to the other. Fray check the wing edges with a flame. Conceal the light frame wires using a black marker. Sew the wings down with black threads. Tack to the body with a small wool tuft. Paint the oval frozen glue drops with light green nail varnish making the eyes. Attach the eyes. Stick the claws to the paws. Cover the claws with black nail varnish. Add black pupils to the eyes. Tack a bit of roving to the outer ends of the eyes to make them more expressive. A Night Fury from How to Train Your Dragon is ready to fly. 
My friend takes my foundation cream and tries to open it. There's something wrong. Oops, it seems I've broken it. No, it's all right. There's kinetic sand inside. Sift a cup of sand. Mix it with a spoonful of starch. Pour in two teaspoons of dish soap. Mix well. Add acrylic paint. Mix again. We've got nice to touch kinetic sand. It's so fun to squish and form into shapes in your hands. It's also very moldable, making it great for building sand castles and other structures. This foundation sand, or kinetic cream, doesn't matter. It can make you really happy. And finally, the slime looking like a pretty alien. It'll take a little time to make it. Pour the clear school glue into the bowl. Take about three and a half ounces. Add a drop of yellow food coloring, some borax, and water. This recipe works perfectly. In a couple of minutes, a transparent yellow slime is ready. Take two balloons of contrasting colors. Cut out small holes in one balloon. Choose the thick one to avoid tearing when stretched. Fold another balloon in this way. Tuck it into the perforated balloon. It'll look like this. Put both balloons onto the plastic bottle neck. Tuck the slime inside, all of it. Tie a knot. Cut off the excess. It's so lovely and unique, changing its shape in a peculiar manner. Join us and subscribe to our channel and share with your friends. Click the bell and Troom Troom will make a new cool video especially for you.